Well, hi there. This video is going to be uh, how to disassemble your Mini. Um, I had this out today. I got into some nasty crap. I kind of hit the bottom a couple times. Um, I'm in Ohio. Most of the uh, lakes and rivers are pretty brown and green, so it's very hard to see much. I had a little bit of luck um, at a pond down the road. Uh, I have a couple videos on that, and that's also playing behind me here. Um, in any case, uh, I thought maybe we'd go ahead and take this apart. I'll show you the kind of insides and the workings of it, um, and we'll clean it out a little bit. Uh, I also want to mention that some folks are actually, in the bottom of it, they're actually drilling a hole uh, so that they can clean it out a little easier. I'm probably going to do that, but that's going to be a future video. Okay, and we're back. Um, I've already had this apart. They have a funky Torx bit, and I forget what size, but I've taken that out. It's in this hole. I've taken that out, and I have not replaced that, and we're not going to replace that. Um, we'll put a Phillips screw into it if we have to, but we certainly are not going to replace that. So we're going to loosen up all these screws and take them out. Pay attention because a couple of them are actually a different size. So make sure you pay attention what you're taking out and where you're what you need to put back in. Um, let's get rid of this fresh water, salt water weight. Get rid of that first. I'm just going to set that screw on top of it, but I believe that's all the same. You can look and see, you can see how filthy this thing is. Um, it's definitely going to need some cleaning up. I'm going to use one of these handy tools to try to pry this puppy apart. I think I've got all the screws out. And just kind of work our way around. Um, there we go. How easy that is. And we'll do the same over here. It's just one of these little uh, doohickeys that you get when you change a... Uh, screen on a phone or something like that. I'm just using that and there we go. We popped that right off. Oh gee, look how filthy that is. Now remember, I, I, I hosed this off as good as I could uh, as soon as I got home. Um, anyways, uh, let's take a quick look. This is your camera assembly has the battery in it and all that good stuff. There's just, uh, here's your motors. These uh, sometimes get filled with the uh, crud and sand and you're going to need to uh, clean them out by just hosing them off and keep spinning them by hand. Uh, eventually you are going to have to take yours apart and clean it. I, I can just about bet you. Um, I know a lot of people are, I mean look at this kind of crap that I have on here. Now this is just stuff that came out of that pond. I mean it's just filthy. Okay so I hosed this off with a garden hose. Um, uh, one thing I want to mention, I did make sure that the cap was on the, uh, the tether connector so we don't get water in there. If you do, I'm sure it's not going to hurt anything. Just kind of blow it out. Okay, so you can see I went ahead and uh, it's clean. I used Dawn dish soap to clean it out real good or at least wipe it down. And then just an ordinary garden hose just to clean it out real good. You're not going to hurt anything. Anyways, uh, now we're going to go back inside and we'll get this baby put back together. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Inside and out. Like I said, I used Dawn dish soap to kind of wipe it down. I thought I'd give you a close-up once again of the motors that they have in this and how they're mounted, how they're screwed down. I'm going to try to give you a little bit of a close-up there. Um, like I said, you're going to get some crap in it, and you may have to just keep flushing it and spinning it. Um, it is not recommended to take these motors apart. I just want you to know that. So if uh, something happens to one of the motors, uh, you're going to need to, to, to uh, order motors, unfortunately. Okay, so the Mini is back together. I got all the screws back in it, and uh, it looks nice and clean. It looks like it's almost brand new. Um, I can't wait to find some clear water. If anybody knows where any water is that's nice and clear near Mansfield, Ohio, please let me know. Maybe a stone quarry or someplace like that. Uh, maybe a pond, a big pond. Um, it's worth a try. The uh, video, that, like I said, that I have playing behind me is from the pond uh, up the road from me, and that was the best video that I've had so far. Um, I can't wait to try this somewhere else. Thank you for joining me.